how we all doing? It is Friday and I've got my new top on that I got off a sheen. I forgot I did a hoarder and it all arrived yesterday so I got a bit excited and then I didn't realise I ordered two of two of the same t-shirt and two of the same trousers but this one is one of my favourites. I like it. It's bright. It's not usually something that I'd usually wear but Oh, yeah, I'm losing a little bit of weight, so I'm not as tubby as I was. I had a shower this morning, so I'm just letting my hair dry. It always dries, usually when it's wet, it's curly. Then it goes into a wave, and then it just goes into a full mess. So today, I am going to be fil not filming, <sighs> trying to do a video that I said I'd do on a poll of Mama June Family Crisis. Um... But in the meantime, I'm going to make a cuppa and then get on with some chores that no one's done and left for me. Don't you get frustrated when you feel like you're the only one in the house that does everything? And with living with a chronic illness, half the time don't get done. So my kitchen looks like World War Two's gone off. I had eat, you know, and dust got me, you know, when before I had to get some teeth removed and because of the jaw pain as well luckily then I've asked for some teeth and they're just not I've been not wearing them and then I think I need to wear them in a bit maybe they'll you know, feel a bit better but I think I'm going to speak to the dentist and see if I can probably have to go I probably have to pay for it but get some implants put in instead because I can't wear it top once. I mean, I'm not kidding, I tried them yesterday. Oh, my tummy, my back of my throat, whatever, my body just went, uh oh, uh, no, that, uh, you know, because it's got like, when you put, I'm only because I've got missing back teeth, you have to put them in, and it's got that roof of the mouth bit. That touched me. I'm like, and then I tried to have a cup of tea and I felt like the tea were going underneath the teeth, the plastic bit at the top of my mouth. That did not agree with me. I had to come out. My eyes were watering and everything. Dramatic scene. <laughs> you told me to be a actor, you know. <laughs> well, that way. I used to do that at school. What did you used to do? What did you enjoy at school? The only thing I enjoyed was drama. Hating maths, hating English, I didn't get all that because obviously I'm dyslexic and same with maths. Uh, but drama, I got a D in that. <laughs> in fact, I got mainly Ds in my um, GCSEs because obviously I struggled. If I did well in English, if I wrote it a bit tiny and put full stops where I never meant to, I'd hope. I never know where I put wrote all that grammar stuff. Never know where I put, I just carry on writing. I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, yeah, I got D in English and English literature. If I did it tidy, I'd probably got a C. Uh, maths, I don't know, God, I, don't, I can't remember. French, I, did, I just, I couldn't text that. I, I think I got a F in that. But I'm not bothered because I'm never going to go to France. <laughs> yeah, I don't get the old school system. Anyway... I'm gonna go, my mouth's dry, I need a drink because I've taken my naproxene today and it makes you have a dry mouth. So thank you very much, tablets. And you now need another cup of tea. And then clean up that kitchen. Because as they woke me up this morning with the Hurley delivery slot that I forgot about, and then oh, I'm like, where's that carrier bags? So I then run upstairs. Grab me big Aldi bags, bang it all in. And I'm like, I'm sure I ordered more than this for the price I paid. Oh, and then half my order were missing. And then the cat food that I order in like a big box, you get 40 in a box, came in about five boxes. So half of that were missing because I ordered two lots. So, yeah, eventful morning. Went to try and lay back down. No, mind were already up. Wake, let the dogs out, let the cats in, feed the cats, do this, do that. Don't you ever feel like you're a robot? Am I a robot? Because it really feels like it. Anyway, guys, I'll catch up with you soon. So the hair's gone up. <laughs> it 
we get in the way and I just needed oh, my, fa my face because it's got some big keep pushing these teeth down I'm trying to get used to them and it's so hard anyway I'm going to do a video later on on Mama June Family Crisis that is been popular one with make but I thought I'd talk about living with EUPD slash BPD now if you don't know what that is it's borderline personality disorder or the EUPD one is emotionally unstable personality disorder and that's the one I've been diagnosed with ah oh, yeah one second guys just come right back in from the bathroom to find this. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Move. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I did just then. I just started recording my, my rubbish corner. I've turned off to move over. Move, move. <laughs> yeah, I've just had to come out, mate. Oh, I just can't. That one, my wrist cracking. Uh, I can't talk with him in. Uh, so... EUPD is emotional cerebral personality disorder and I'm not kidding you like that and fibro I feel like are the worst conditions you could ever be diagnosed with fibro with pain fatigue and god knows the list goes on and on and on EUPD you don't know what you're doing from one minute to the next within seconds you could change and it's just like a living nightmare it is a living nightmare because I don't know, little things can just tip you over the edge. Just even by something on the TV, something you just see go like flying by a bird, could trigger, I don't know, just, that's just thing. Yeah. So my day, with mine, I get emotional and that's probably why I'm too sensitive. I don't really, I've not really spoken about EUPD because I feel ashamed of having it and I feel like sometimes I've been mixed diagnosed because to me it sounds like in my opinion, maybe wrong, but this is how I think it. Uh, it's like when they told me, I'm like, that sounds like there's loads of different me's. It's like, that's not me. Pardon me. And when I've researched it, I went, that's not me, that's not me. That's my, well, the emotional bit is, but that's not me. I thought, thinking with um, a bad struggle with a bad, I can't say it, that people leave and I don't get to see them anymore, you know, type of thing. That's not me. <laughs> if you're going to leave my life leave me leave that's on you not me you know what I mean so I'm still chucked up in the cold so yeah living with that on a daily basis is a nightmare the struggles just even to get through the day without I do take things personal that's, that is one thing and I do overthink and I do analyse situations t right through to, and I, I I make like different scenarios in my head of what could happen, of if I need to go out, and I start then thinking in my head, one minute my mouth keeps going dry, and I still got that bit of thingy on my t what's that? These cups are pretty good, you know. Uh. You know when you, I don't know if you've got teeth that you have to put in, and uh, you've got to put that ugh, fix it all or whatever it's called, that pink stuff on, in it, and that just lingers. Anyway, so I'm missing, I'm going off track again. I can't remember, what I'm talking about is my personal experience of how I cut, how I did, how my PDB, whatever you want to bloody call it, EUBD is. On a daily basis, yeah, I do cry, but it takes, it just takes a little thing to set me off. It could be with cat dust, I don't know, just simple things like even falling, I, I instantly cry when I fall. I think it's mainly because I'm embarrassed, I ain't got a clue who's seen me, and it blew me nerves. And when, you, when you've got fibro, you're sensitive to pain, so that pain just shoots through your body, I'm not kidding you, and that finger... I forgot to mention to the doctor because he was just banging on about stuff. That finger's not been right since I fell. Especially when it's cold, I feel it even more. Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys. Do you have drop falls or you fall? And people with fibro might understand that. 
and the pain just lingers. It's like stubbing your toe. Got a cold sore. I thought it was food. So a cheeky cake before I came on. Bang goes my diet for dinner. <laughs> it was on here, Mr. Kipling's little Easter bun uh, cake. Uh, it's got lemon curd in it. So lemon is kind of, is it a fruit? There you go. One of my five a days. <laughs> Anyway, so living with, yeah, EUPD, you're just up and down. You don't know what you're going to be doing from one second to the next. It's a living nightmare. You just can't, con you have no control over it. Even if, you, like, I've done therapy and I still struggle with it. And then they say, do your, um, oh, what's that word now? Your calming methods. What do you do to chill out? Do those, like, five senses. What can you see? What can you smell? What can you taste? What can you hear? That goes out the window because you can go from zero to a thousand within seconds and you, everything see, is like dramatic and it's like like a drama queen type of thing. But in night, everything in night, uh, I can't speak properly today, sorry. My nose is blocked. Uh, everything in light, and, in light, what's that word? It's bit, I don't know, I can't think. What's that word? Everything just seems as big as what it would be to someone that hasn't got it. Uh, it might just be a minor little issue, but to us, it's boom, it's big and dramatic. And trying to get yourself from that eye back down to normal, it takes some doing, you know. Uh, let me know in the comments below as well, guys. It, do you suffer with anything like that? Any, like, bipolar? EUPD, BPD, that's a, such a tongue twister that for me, or any other, I know depression and stuff like that, but it's, how do you cope with yours, it's, to me it's like a living nightmare, it's the most awful illness you could be diagnosed with, because you don't know where, what, what you're doing from one minute to the next, you could be fine one minute, and then you're on the floor crying, or doing God knows what, having a I won't say tantrum, but similar to that, on the floor, having a nervous breakdown. You just, it's awful. I'd, it's an awful thing to be diagnosed with. And to me, I feel like, I've, even though I've always been emotional since a kid, so to me, that's just normal for me, but I feel like I've been misdiagnosed with that. Um, so, and I don't, I'm too afraid to even say it. In fact, I'm CBC PN. <laughs> On um, Wednesday next week, so I might bring it up and I'll say, Look, I feel like you misdiagnosed me, mate. Here, yeah. I'm gonna research it a bit better though first and bring it up because to me, even though at the minute I've, I've not been in a great space, I've been in a dark place at the minute, but that's my depression and depressive disorder I suffer with. So my diagnosis are, and I think I did a video on it not so long ago, but I think it's all changed again. I've been diagnosed with EUPD, which I think is wrong. Depression, depressive di depressive disorder, uh, fibro, um, that triggers neuralgia, that jaw pain, PTSD, uh, Sciatica, I've got that slip disc. And I'll, oh, this could go on, but I can't remember. Uh, brain fog, unfortunately, kicks in. So, yeah. Sometimes I feel like a robot. I sure, like I say, I sure I'm not a robot because I just feel like I get up, do that, do that. I do that. I go in there, do that, sit down. I do the same thing day in, day out. Um, but and next week, oh, I'll be back to school. It's six o'clock start again. That's going to kill me off. Uh, I hate the first day back of school because it's like, oh, dear. You know. uh, but, yeah, I do need to find some structure in my life. I need to be doing better things in my life to distract myself. At the minute, I've been doing puzzles on my phone, jigsaws. I like doing that. Put one in front of me and I won't even know what to do because... You know, this one on the phone, you just move it and it clicks into place. And you're like, hey, so that's okay. I might actually consider buying one, 
but I'd need to buy uh, one of the jigsaw big covers so you could close it up instead of having to dismantle it and then putting it away. Oh, you're missing a piece. Oh, that's the worst bit. Uh, but yeah, I might consider that. Uh, but there's a local cat protection down by where I live. They've got a charity shop. I'd say, Anna, if you're interested, go in and ask if you can help out. Shop work is not for me because maths and stuff like that. I hate till work so yeah I need to do something so any suggestions pop a comment in below and let me know what you do to help you distract yourself keep yourself busy you know I used to love roll skating but I can't do it anymore that was one of my yeah yeah moments back in the day now nah you won't, get, you won't be able to get me on wheels Anyway, I'm going to be and leave you. Thanks again for watching. Let me know in the comments below where you live or, well, not live, but it, UK, USA, whatever. Not, not directly your address. No, didn't mean that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know what you're doing for today and what do you do to do, 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 put your teeth back in cap, distractions and hobbies. And I'll catch up with you in the video, next video. Don't forget, tomorrow I'm doing a live at 8 o'clock at night. And I'll see you all then. See you later.